Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to unlock all 21 Nornir chests. I'm going to show you the locations and how to solve it. Now first I want to thank PlayStation for providing me with a copy of God of War. Now the first one I'm going to show you is in Wildwoods. And this is going to be at the four-way intersection. We're going to break through the barrier. Each of these are basically a mini puzzle. So I'm going to show you the location and then how to unlock it. Each of the chests are locked by magical runes. And you can see the symbols on the front of the chest here. So we need to simply, for this puzzle, break open the three runes. They're all right here in this room. Very simple. Now, the contents of these are all going to be either an apple or a horn. Three apples will increase your health. Three horns will increase your rage up to uh, a total of nine that you can find. So you can get three upgrades on health, three upgrades on the rage. So again, it increases for every three that you find. That happens to be an apple. So we need to find two more to get a health upgrade. Now, because there is only three upgrades available for each, so that's 18 total. There's three other chests then, means that uh, they won't contain either an apple or a horn. They'll just be crafting components and resources. So we're gonna head over to the river pass. This is in the puzzle where you have the the, the spikes on the ceiling and you gotta raise and lower it. Well, after you complete that puzzle, go to the top of it and we're gonna find another chest here. And you can see the symbols there. So this one, we just have to break the three symbols once again. So the first one I'm gonna find is up here. Second one is actually gonna be through here. I think you have to break that open to get in here. And then the third one is actually kind of tricky to find. What we need to do is raise the, the ceiling once again. Of course, we're standing on top of it this time. So raise it once more, and you can see another one, the back of it, just off there in the distance. Break all three of those seals, you can now open the chest. Now, of course, check the description for a timeline of each location in case you stumble across one and just need quick access to how to unlock a specific one in a specific location. Now, also, some of them are going to require you to come back later. You can fast travel back to certain areas to get because you won't have the proper equipment yet to unlock it. So just keep that in mind. You might not be able to get many of these on your first time through. Now, the next one we're going to find up in the river pass. Uh, this is the story path here. If you go left, there's a shrine. But if you go right, uh, that's the story path. But you will also run into the, the Nornir chest here. This is going to feature another apple to increase our health. So we need to find the three magic runes once again. So there's one right behind it. And then the other two are way off in the distance. You can see this one way over there. And I'm gonna completely whiff on the first toss. I do that quite a bit. So next up, we're gonna find another one on the opposite side of this bridge. So I'm just gonna climb up here again and get a good angle on it. After a couple missed throws, we finally got it. We have now unlocked the chest again. We're going to go and open this up, find another apple. So all I'll need is a third apple in order to increase my health. Of course, I'm filming these kind of out of order or showing these out of order of how I actually found them in the game because I'm doing it region by region. All right, so next up, we're going to find another health upgrade in the river pass. Uh, we are actually in the uh, a little further on. You got this kind of big open area. You got the ribs in the center of the area. And here's a chest, a different type of puzzle. It'll either be the other type or this one. You got three bells. You got to ring all three of them within a certain period of time. So I highly recommend standing way back here and ringing the farthest bell from here. You're going to have to aim high to compensate for the drop. And then the two other bells are right to the flanking the chest itself. So it's easiest to go for the farthest one first while standing as close to the other two as you can. And that is my third health upgrade, so I will get a, uh, a boost there. Now there is also a trophy for maximizing your health and maximizing your uh, rage. So it's going to require nine of each in order to get those two trophies. All right, still in the river pass. We're actually in the underground area. And this is actually right by where the, uh, this rune here is right by the well where you climb up. That is one of the seals. There's another seal if you, you can make a bridge here. This is actually near the chest itself. I'll turn around and you'll see it. And the third one is going to be uh, behind a barrier, in which case you need to grab this. And then you're going to toss it to that opening there and shoot it with a shock arrow. I don't believe you can do this until later in the game, so you can fast travel back here, of course, at any time after you gain that ability to do so. 
And once you break that open, there's also one of the hidden Odin's hidden entrances in this room. There's also a treasure map. I do have a guide on all the treasure maps and the, the locations. So make sure you can check that out. But there's also a magical seal up here. So we've destroyed that. We can now go back and open the rage chest. The rage, of course, are horns. For every three horns that you collect, you will increase your rage up to the three times total. All right, so now we're going to go uh, down, uh, actually outside. We're going to climb that well, and we're going to be by the big tree. And this one, again, you're not going to be able to get the first time here, but you need to grab this power orb. Now, you can only hold this for 10 seconds before it respawns back in its uh, previous location. So we're going to put it in that second location there, allowing us to climb up the chain here, and we're going to be able to grab that... that uh, orb once more from up here to throw it in we just passed the chest that's on the left hand side and we're going to put this into another uh, device you can only put them in these little kind of green orb things so we're going to pull it out of there and then we're going to insert it into this one here this will also activate one of the runes on the seal so we're going to go and pull this out and bring it over to the behind the chest and this is how you power up the chest the chest is not, you can't solve this open this chest until after you bring this power orb to this location so you can see i've already completed one of the symbols we got two more left all the symbols are all right here in the same spot you can see one there on the side and then you got the spinning spindle thing up top so what i'm going to do is hit each of the ones on the right side once and that'll solve the puzzle for me I don't know if it'll be the case for you, but we got the backwards B there. And we changed the whole thing by hitting that a second time. So we can see we can now access this chest. All right, so now let's head over to the lookout tower. There's one chest here. This is a uh, another puzzle. You got to be kind of quick at. So you got to hit that little spinning board there. It lowers the spikes. You can hit two of the the rune seals, and then you have to hit the spinning board again and hit the third one. So hit two. Hit. You got to hit the spinning board one time. Hit two of the uh, seals. Hit the spinning board again to hit the third one. That took me a little bit, uh, while to kind of figure that out. Maybe three or four minutes. All right, so now let's go to the Cliffs of Raven. Cliffs of Raven has one. Uh, this one, I've actually got one solved, and I accidentally solved it, but we're using these power orbs again. And you can see the little spinning rune symbols that are spins when the orb is in there. So you need to take out the orb when it gets to the proper magical seal. So in this case, I need a, a I don't know, a sideways N. Now there's another one just to my left, but I took the orb out and then you have to insert it somewhere else because again, in 10 seconds, it'll respawn in the previous location. So that one right above the chest, that's just kind of where I'm going to store things. Now I'm going to climb up here. This is where one of the seals is located, but it, the, the symbol already matched the chest. So we're not going to, I'm not going to worry about it, but you will have to. So we're going to make our way up in our temporary housing spot for the orb. We're going to pull it back out and go to a second, this would be the third uh, seal. I'm going to spin this to the proper location, then take it out. Once I've taken it out again, I have 10 seconds to put it somewhere else. So I'm going to put it in my temporary spot here. And the chest is now unlocked. So I'm going to go down and open that up. This is a horn for the uh, rage upgrades. Quick temper that. So that was my ninth and final horn that I got. So I got the trophy right there for that. So now we're in the foothills. The foothills has just one uh, Nornir chest. You see it right there. Now there's a spindle thing, spinning thing behind it. I'm going to leave that for last. So I wrote down the symbols. And I'm going to come to this one here and match it up. Which I believe is that one. And then here's another one, but you can't see the actual symbol. So you can use the freeze effect on your axe and throw it at that thing to see what the symbol is. And then spin it. And if it's not the right symbol, you can freeze the, the poison again to make sure the symbol is correct. 
And I believe this one is correct. Let's check it real quick. Sure is. So I got the two. Let's go to the third one. Now, some of these spinning things, uh, some of them have the same icons on them, the matching symbols. So just be careful of that. I don't think that was the case with this one. Just because you match the right symbol on one of them doesn't mean it's the right one. That's nice. But you just need to match up the three symbols. Same uh, thing for all of these. Now we're going to go to the mountain, and there's actually two Nornir chests here. First one is going to be a rage upgrade. This is going to be in the lower half of the the uh, mountain when you first enter it actually this is the first big room and uh, you got to create a, a bridge here with the blue arrow and here is the chest now behind the chest written on the wall is red lettering uh those are the symbols that you need there's a b and an n and an r i don't know if you were able to see it but here is one of the spinning things there's another one out there in the distance so let's go ahead and so there's an n we do need an n now, remember how I said some of them have duplicate symbols? This is the case here. There was an N on here. So, you know what? Maybe it's not this one here because that other one didn't have any matching seals on it. So, I believe that was a B. We got the N. Now, we got to get, I believe, what was an R? I've already forgotten. My memory is not so good. This is why I write these things down as I go. So there it is. The uh, chest is unlocked now. Let's go ahead and pull out that horn. Again, the horns are for the rage upgrades. All right, so in the mountain again, but this is going to be on the top half of the mountain. And you're going to come up and you're going to find this chest. You'll run right past it, right next to it. Now, the three rooms, you just have to break them open. There's no time or anything on it. Is one is in the previous room where the uh, shrine was located. Another one is going to be if we go onto this bridge and look off to the right, you'll see it. And for the third one, we got to actually move the bridge up. So we're going to change the angle of it by interacting with this wheel and then th take our frozen axe ability and put it, jam it right there in the gears. Once you get to the top, you're going to recall your axe and then break open this seal and then drop down and take your loot so we are leaving the mountain we've got everything from there and we're going to head over to the forgotten caverns forgotten caverns has one if you can take the southern beach landing and then climb all the way way up to the top You'll see the chest here right before the zip line down. Now these, you got to ring the bells in the, a specific time again, within maybe five seconds. Now when you hit one, the thing, whole thing starts spinning. Which makes things a little bit more difficult. But that was my first attempt. I was really proud of myself. And this is, I believe, a health upgrade. I've actually already completed my health one. So once you've completed all your upgrades, you'll get different uh, resources. So I believe that was a health upgrade, though, based on my search on the Internet. Now we have another one in Fafner's storeroom. It's a rage right before you go into the actual uh, temple. Uh, there's a the bells again. You want to ring the one above the waterfall here first, the furthest one, and then head towards the chest and right behind it are two more right close to each other. So again, always hit the furthest one first from really far away and then get the two closer ones. All right, so we are going to move to the Light Elf Outpost. Light Elf Outpost has uh, a, a chest kind of in the center of the area and you just have to break open and find the three seals. Again, no time here. These are just the break the seal puzzle. First one we're going to find is off to the left. If you're standing right in front of the chest, way out in the distance. Nailed it first try. Now we need to kind of scour the island for the other two. So I'm going to make my way around the outside. I've kind of gone up a level here. And before going up again, you may see one on the side of the uh, stone over here. Kind of off the island. You can't uh, get to it. Now there's another one off in the distance as well, not on technically on the island itself. 
see this uh, pillar in the water now that we've destroyed all three let's go back to the chest and this will be another apple for you All right, so next up on our trip, we're going to go to Konos Guard. Konos Guard is going to have a uh, puzzle. This is after you go through the Dwarven King's uh, temple, and you'll see these down here. This one is actually tricky, so what, here's how you do it. Take the power orb and throw it into the right one, and then take it out when you have the end showing, which I already previously had set up, but that's how you do it. Make sure the N is showing there, and then you're just going to put in the power orb and leave it on the left one. It's going to spin between two symbols at this point. So I'm going to go back to the right one and throw my axe at that first, and then I'm going to have to go and hit the two symbols on the left one while it's spinning. Because this is time. These are uh, bells that you're hitting. And if you get all three of them within a short period of time, you now have access to the chest. Congratulations. All right, so now we're heading to Vithergard. And the, this chest is um, right. same thing, just three runes. So here's the first one. I actually destroyed this before even finding the chest itself. Second one is going to be kind of in the circular... Uh, area here with the big rock in the center and then the third one is actually right next to the chest so no time limit just find those three seals destroy them and you have then access to the chest i don't know what's in this chest because i already had all my upgrades it'll be one or the other and if you have all your upgrades all you get again are resources so now we're going to head to Tears Temple. Tears Temple, we're going to go underground for this. And uh, this is a complicated puzzle area. And you'll see the chest. You got these uh, blocks of spikes that are trying to impale you. And they sometimes do a good job at it, let me tell you. But you can uh, change up their pattern by freezing the gear on, the, on one of them. But here's the chest. So here's the first seal. We just need to destroy three seals. You can see it's on the bottom of the the second block. So we're going to alter up the pattern here so I have time to hit the seal. That didn't really do a good enough job here. Let's kind of mix up the pattern just a little bit more. Here we go. We have, we'll have plenty of time here. All right, so from there, we're going to go back to the center room. Second one is going to be really easy to find. It's actually in here, it's just sitting off on the, the ledge here in the corner. I guess there's no corner in a circle room. But nonetheless, third one is going to be with these uh, blocks with the spikes on the bottom, and it's way up high there. It took me a while to find that one. All right, so now we'll just head back to the chest. Open that up, and you will get yourself a health upgrade. Well, you'll get an apple that'll go, go towards the health upgrade. Again, you need three. For every three, you'll get the actual upgrade. But in my case, that was my final upgrade, so I got the, the Idun's Trophy. All right, so now we're going to head to Elfheim. Elfheim is a completely new area. We're going to take a boat to a nearby beach here, and we have a chest with bells with no symbols on it. you got to hit the right three combination, again, within a very short period of time. Once you identify the proper three, which I just showed you and just hit, uh, you can then open the chest again. You got to be real quick on that, though. You have no time to think. So the last three are also in Elfheim. This is going to be kind of underground story path. You will run right next to this chest. Previous one you might not see, but this one you'll run right across. You may recognize this area. You're going to take the spinning dial here. And then you're going to have to use your axe to freeze in place the gear out in the distance. Now, I've already destroyed one of the seals accidentally. So I'll show you exactly where it is. And I don't know. What, what am I throwing at there? All right. So we're going to freeze it. And then I'm going to turn around and climb up onto the stone block. Recall the axe. To put, uh, allow me to go up again. And the first seal is right here. Right there in the corner. I accidentally destroyed it. 
but it would be there. All right, so now we got to lower this again. The next two seals are uh, similar and close to each other. What we need to do is not go down all the way. So only go down a three quarters of the way right there. And you can see the seal over out in the distance down below. So freeze it in place. Again, not all the way down or not all the way up. Now there are two seals here. You're going to have to punch them or use any other various weapon type. You can't recall the axe, otherwise you can't get the seal. But once you've done that, recall the axe, and then you can just go and loot the chest, which will be another apple. All right, we got two more. The next one is going to be you're going to get to a point where you have to go left or right. If you go right, you'll see another shrine as well as the dwarves. Uh, will give you the dwarves will be there. If you go left, you will find this door that is blocked with these little things here. You got to un, uh, unblock the door, but you can see the chest now out in the distance. Behind it is a bell. There's a bell to the left here and a bell right up top there. So here's how I do it. I stood here so I can hit these first two bells without really having to move and then run to the doorway real quick and toss it out in the distance. That one's a little tricky to get. With some patience, you'll get this in a few minutes, I promise you. And the final Nornir chest is also in Alfheim. There's 20, again, there's 21 total. It takes 18 to fully max your health and uh, rage, nine of each. But here you're going to have to move this little um, crystal there, activate the bridge. And once you've activated that bridge, you can then climb up here. And you'll see the chest right inside of this little area. To solve this one, you got a little window you're going to shoot through here. And there's a window off to the right here. I'm actually going to go outside to hit it. So I'm going to stand right next to the chest here. Throw my axe through the window on the left and hit the one that's only a few feet of me af away after that. And then uh, go around and hit the final and third one. This one was a little tricky. There it is. That is the final uh, Nornir chest in the game. There Again, there's 21 total. You need to find nine apples to fully max out your health and nine horns to fully max out your rage bar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and of course, subscribe.